up guys welcome back to another one of my videos this video is for my uh for all my homeowners that has ever had you know power go out on you and you know it's been a blackout from storm or whatever for a couple days uh here where i'm at uh we had hurricane zeta come through i don't think it was like probably like two weeks ago or so uh two or three weeks ago and uh we was out we was w without power for about 48 48 to almost 72 hours, which that's a long time to be without power, especially when you have your refrigerator and everything in your refrigerator that you do not want to spoil. And especially when you just went food shopping about three days prior. So behind me, uh, we got two big boxes. We got two very big boxes. And I'm going to pop these boxes open and let you guys see what's inside and what we're going to be doing. Transfer switch. So we got a transfer switch in this box. I'm gonna go over this a little bit more. Whew, that took some time, but we got a generator. <laughs> All right, let's go over this more in depth, guys. So, what we got here is uh, we got a backup power transfer switch kit. Now, uh, this kit is about four hundred bucks from Home Depot, but of course, Home Depot is sold out. I actually found it on eBay, same price, four hundred dollars. wasn't any cheaper. But uh, the good thing about this one is it has uh, ten panels. It has 10 panels. I'm going to hook this up directly to um, right back here is actually my breaker, my uh, switch panel. And I'm um, going to take off the cover. going to hook that all up, put a hole in my wall, gonna get this plug outside, get this open for you guys. You can see what's inside. The instructions come inside. And I, I read a lot of reviews about this particular one. It's one of the most reliable. I mean, it has thousands of positive reviews. So I figured, hey, it can't go too wrong with it. And it comes with this, uh, the, with the uh, the plug, which is about 20 foot. But this is more than likely not going to be enough because you kind of should have this combustible generator a little bit further away from your house. Well, let's talk about this generator a little bit now. So I went with this Westinghouse 7,500 watt um, running watts and uh, peak watts 9,500 from uh, Home Depot. And there was actually, I'm not really much of a fan of Westinghouse. Uh, I, don't, I don't know of any of their things being that awesome, but there's a three-year warranty on this and uh, there was hundreds of positive reviews and in order to run something like that you know 10 panel fuse uh switch this you need something around seven to eight thousand watts to run most of your house so you know i am gonna choose 10 items 10 particular breakers from uh, my box that i'm gonna be powering in the event that power does go out but uh, you definitely want something with at least 7,000 to 8,000 uh, wattage. The beautiful thing about this particular one, though, that I do like about this generator, you know, the name set aside is it comes with, first of all, it's a push button start. So there's no, you know, crazy cranking or anything like that. And the other beautiful part about it is it, it actually comes with an automatic start. So, I mean... You know, you could be in your house and just like your car, press the button, boom, automatic start. You know, you got power up to the house and everything. So it's beautiful. Um, here goes the uh, the house switch. We're going to plug the uh, panel switch in. And uh, yeah, so let's get wiring this thing up. Show you guys how this thing functions, work. I right, just had to uh, run out to Home Depot real quick and pick up some Romex, basically some wire. 
10 gauge wire because uh, I need 10 gauge wire to run the plug outside. And I only had 12 gauge wire, so I got some 10 to 15 foot. So basically, this got my uh, it's got three wires inside of here, which is three three leads I'm gonna need. Then I got some conduit, but I'm not sure I'm gonna use it. I mean, it'll look pretty, but I'll show you guys what's going on so far. <sighs> got the box mounted, mounted uh, right next to the transfer switch, mounted uh, right next to my uh, fuse panel, which is very neat, and I'm gonna keep it neat. And I just have all the wires here, have all the wires here, which I'm gonna run. But um, let me hook it up, then I'll show you guys, you know, What's what, how everything is oriented. Guys, before I go on with the rest of this video, I just want to let you guys know that one, I'm not a licensed uh, electrician. So, you know, the advice that I'm giving here and uh, the information that I'm giving here, you take it with a grain of salt. Or you follow it specifically as I say but if you uh, you know want to critique or anything else that's cool I mean uh, I have done electrical work in the past on homes on cars on pretty much everything so I do know what I'm doing but for you know if you're not comfortable doing this kind of work I strongly 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 suggest getting a professional hiring a professional yes it's going to cost you a lot more than you know the breakdown of this video but it is better you get a professional than a shock yourself to death or b burn your house down we don't want any of that so uh let's continue all right all right guys so i'm at the part of this i'm at the part of this uh installation where this is the most time consuming thing and what you really have to focus on. And what this is basically is balancing your uh, your new transfer switch. It comes with 10, it come with 10 uh, switches and you have to balance the circuit. You know, that way you don't get overload on one side than the other. Now, what I've done here what I've done here is basically, excuse my handwriting. I'll probably put this up on, uh, write this on the screen as well. But what I've done here is I've actually numbered my, uh, I've numbered the fuse, the switch on my, my box. That's what those numbers are. And they correspond with the name, the name of what is on that particular circuit. And then the amount of voltage that that particular circuit is drawing. Then what I have here is the letter of which on a transfer switch, I'm going to hook that particular circuit up to. Now this takes the most time and uh, you know, this is a very in-depth part that you really have to take your time on. It probably took me, took me at least an hour or two just to try to figure out, you know, balancing these circuits on the board and uh just you know figuring out what's going to be what and what circuits i want run you know like i want my hot water heater to be running you know i want my kitchen master lights to be running i want you know bedroom lights my fridge i can't run the furnace because the furnace is pulling a 60 volt it has a 60 volt uh circuit none of the circuits on this particular transfer switch can support that much volts now, as far as my hot water heater, I have 60 here, but it should be 40. Uh, and the A and B switch can handle, you know, 40. So, uh, you know, it, it says 20 on a transfer switch, 20, uh, 220s. Basically, that's A and B right there. And it's uh, 2020, but they could hold up to a 60. So I'll be able to have the hot water, the hot water heater running which you know you need your hot water heater in the event of a power outage i want my workstation and i want you know the rest of the kitchen plugs and any other lights in the kitchen to be working as well these this 
this one right here 20 for kitchen lights and plugs and uh, 26 for kitchen master lights and then the refrigerator all of those will uh, cover my entire uh, living space so guys once again very important that you uh, balance out and you make a specific plan on what circuits you're gonna hook up before you even get in there so let me show you something so this is my fuel pan my uh, my panel and those are all the numbers and labels that correspond with all the numbers here I mean there's some labels as well there's some labels on the side of this so whoever put this together put it together really clean and really professional and I'm gonna keep it that way here go all my wires that I show you on this wire here the beautiful thing about this is all these wires they have the corresponding letters to them to the switch so that's a you can see C uh, what's this that I'm not even sure what letter that is oh it's F just had to turn it all the way around that's F and basically from A to J is uh, those letters correspond with the wires so you know you know where you're going so you know I have 26 uh, kitchen master lights is gonna is going to be going to C C which is a 20 which is a 20 volt circuit so uh, let me I'm gonna wire it up now which you know you got to shut down the master shut down the master and you want to make sure excuse my electrical draw I got a lot of junk in here all right this is the wrong tester I got the right tester in here somewhere if you don't have an electrical tester I strongly advise you getting one all right well I can use this one yeah I can use this one this one's contactless too so basically, you take your tester, you can, no, I don't want to use this one. I have a contactless one. This one plugs into the plug. As a matter of fact, I can use, Amita has one. So non-contact voltage. So you just put it next to it. You know there's power live in there. There's going to be power live in all of these. So uh, once I shut that down, then I'm going to use this again and just test to make sure that I'm not playing with live power. And whatever you do, don't touch those, please, for all of our sake. All right, guys, I'll show you when I'm done. All the power is on generator power. Line, line down. Main house is, as you can see, the main house is on off. It's on the off position. Right there. That's on. So now I'm gonna shut okay, it down. I shut down the uh, generator and uh, turn the main house power back on. You can see my wires. I just have them. Uh, wire nutted all pointing up and just kind of zip tied them and got it as neat as possible this particular wire right here bothered me a little bit because it goes really high on the uh, breaker so i don't have no space i don't have no slack to put it over but uh it's okay it's the only wire the rest of these just kind of zip tied them along on this side 
just to you know keep my box neat or whatever it still looks good still looks professional everything is on here this is now online online power online power everything is running the way that it should hi right, guys so uh as you see uh we had great success with this <coughs> excuse me particular home improvement project um you know this is a really good investment for anyone that has ever had a, a blackout as far as pricing goes um the transfer switch the transfer switch is four hundred dollars religiously anywhere that particular reliance transfer switch is one of the best transfer switches i will put a link in the description on where you can find that i found this particular one on ebay because it was sold out in home depot uh the generator make sure you have to get yourself a up to eight thousand watt generator is what that transfer switch is rated at so this particular western house generator that i have it is it has three-year warranty uh uh, it has amazing reviews. I bought it at Home Depot, and it was, uh, I think, about $900, about $900. And um, then I spent another $20, $25 on the Romex 10-2 wires. And, uh, yeah, that was it. So we got about 9 4 13 13 dollars 1325 roughly so for a little less than 1400 dollars i was able to get this job done and now in the event of a power outage i have plenty of my circuits wired up in the house so i'm not really worried about that anymore and you know after the second time that was enough for me to know that it was time to go out and buy this but anyway guys for now as you see everything works everything is good uh, what I'm going to do is just going to put my uh, panel back on, my uh, main panel back on the main fuse box, and I'm done. I'm done. Uh, I hope you guys are able to do this job, you know, based upon this video. If you're not, or if you feel uncomfortable, you know, by all means, do not attempt to do this job because you are playing with, you know, enough power to, you know, really just stop your heart, knock you out. So, uh you know, if you didn't get enough confidence or you don't have enough confidence, please hire a professional for someone to do this job. Might cost you anywhere around the ballpark of maybe like six hundred, six hundred to a thousand dollars, maybe. I'm not a, an electrician, but uh, I'm assuming you know that sounds about what the prices would be. But uh, guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, you know, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, there will be plenty more videos, videos for everyone, videos for the home improvement guys, videos for my car guys, gun guys, and just pretty much, you know, everything, you know, we're going to make this channel general. We're going to continue to make this uh, channel very general to a lot of uh, things that everyday people go through and deal with. So guys, thank you. Until next time. Peace. Yeah.